Hello students. Today we will talk about the importance of grooming, what grooming is and what are the different things that are involved in grooming. Grooming is very simple and we all know by common sense itself that we need to groom ourselves. Grooming means nothing but whatever efforts that would we put in so that we should look good. Our outward appearance should be presentable and you should feel confident about your looks. So whatever effort that we put in, all these efforts are considered as grooming. And this grooming is necessary and by, from our birth itself, we start grooming. Initially, when we are kids, it is our mom and dad, they look after our grooming. But later on, when we come to our senses, from childhood itself, we start grooming. But as a professional, what are the different things that directly, indirectly, sometimes we may neglect and we should pay attention to as a professional? In this video, we will look for. So grooming is nothing but all efforts that we put in so that we should look presentable. So what are the different things that are involved in grooming? Let us have a discussion about it. Number one is dress. So you must dress to the occasion. It may be you are attending the marriage ceremony, according to the occasion you wear it. It may be you are in your bedroom. It may be you are at very uh, formal business meeting. It may be you are in your office or it may be in your classroom. So wherever you are there, as per the occasion, you must wear your dress code. The reason behind it, imagine that it is your uh, uh, wedding, and, wedding and if you simply go in simple clothes, nobody will recognize you Re imagine that it is a business meeting and you go in your t-shirts and jeans obviously obviously clothes won't affect your performance but when the people look at you look at the occasion and look at you as a professional they have one <coughs> particular image of a professional and you need to fit in your performance your skills and knowledge they have nothing to do with your dress code but we must wear according to the occasion and according to the formality level or informality level so that we should fit in that particular group number one so you need to wear proper dress now when we need to wear proper dress means they should be as per our body shape it should be as per our measurement don't simply go and buy any ready-made stuff that anyone anyone it's a common sense that we need to buy something which really we are comfortable in Besides this, if you do not have the sense of color combination according to your complexion, you can take the help of any expert who is really an expert in that area. So it will help you to select the texture of the clothes. It will help you to select the color combination of your trouser and shirt or maybe whatever dress code you want to select. So you must dress as per the occasion, number one. Second thing that comes in grooming is your footwear. When we wear footwear, Make sure that we are comfortable so that whenever we are comfortable and not worried about our dress code as well as our footwear, that attention can be can be absorbed or can be used in our performance and our performance will be enhanced. If you are distracted because of your dress code or sometime if you are not feeling comfortable in the particular dress or maybe particular footwear, it will affect your performance as a professional. So make sure that you wear proper footwear as per the size of your feet. Number two, and they should be properly cleaned. If they are made out of leather, they should be properly polished that we needless to talk about even the color of your footwear and the color of your dress code that that should also match that is also another tip but we are not going to into that minute observation of this my simple concern is that as a professional whatever dress code whatever footwear you wear you need to be comfortable first of all and the footwear as well as dress should be clean proper and tidy another thing that comes in grooming is your hairstyle do not simply blindly follow any any superstar that you uh, uh, you are following it may be shahrukh khan it may be salman khan whatever their uh, hairstyle is there as per their role it is suitable for them and for your role for your complexion for your shape of face you need to know what kind of hairstyle will be suitable to you so that you should feel good about yourself that yes i look really handsome and really beautiful in this particular hairstyle do not simply or blindly follow anyone because you need to feel good about yourself 
if you feel that you have gone for something very odd hairstyle and if your attention gets diverted to that or because the people are looking at you with a very strange they are giving you very strange look then obviously it will affect your performance because you get diverted your attention get diverted to your hairstyle so please please make sure that your hairstyle is proper as per you can take the help of uh, the barber the the saloon you can ask them what kind of hairstyle will be suitable to you if you are not comfortable according to your shape and they will guide you because these people are the experts so go for it and proper haircut has to be maintained as a professional because that will go in long way the next uh, point that comes in grooming is uh, sometimes we wear dio and perfume obviously we should wear dio and perfume so that uh, the body odor can be hidden but whatever dio or the perfume that you wear make sure that it is suitable to you and your skin whenever we sweat the toxins that come out of our body and the perfume or the dio if their mixture uh, creates some bad foul odor then obviously uh, it will not serve the purpose we have we are wearing the dio and the perfume so that the body odor should not come but if we do not pay attention to the the chemicals that come out of our body and the chemicals that are used in perfume so the combination the deadly combination would be created and something i mean very bad smell may come out of you or your clothes so make sure that you take professional help maybe you can visit a dermatologist and the dermatologist will guide you what kind of perfume and dio is suitable to you as per your skin and your body type and as per the as far as the chemicals are concerned the next thing is that sometimes we wear makeups maybe men women girls boys all of them wear makeup so what kind of makeup you should wear you should feel comfortable about it others should also feel comfortable about it others should not get distracted because of the over makeup or less makeup because after 2 3 hours if the makeup goes down so it will again again distract you and it will make you to lose your confidence because you are cautious about that makeup so it should not happen it is because in any organization in any company any business house we are there to perform we are there to uh, showcase our skill and make the business we are not there to showcase how beautiful we are and what kind of makeup that we are wearing but we can we should because there are certain industries there are certain fields they require that you need to have that particular makeup so according to the demand and the requirement of your profession obviously you should wear but make sure that it doesn't go overboard you should feel comfortable and your attention from your job should not be distracted to your makeup make sure that and that is what is the proper care that you need to take the next thing that comes in uh personal hygiene the next thing that we are going to talk about the personal hygiene personal hygiene means you must take bath properly you must cut your nails you must uh, uh, if you are keeping beard and mustache you should trim them properly you should not let them go on uh, go don't just simply go on in increasing your beard and uh, uh, mustache unnecessarily point is you should be properly presentable and you should maintain your personal hygiene personal hygiene means if you are not good enough if you are not physically fit if you are not mentally fit obviously it will affect your job and your skills so make sure that you take proper bath you brush your body should not stink your breath should be fresh so brush twice thrice after every meal you can brush so that you should not stink if you have the habit of smoking after the smoking also you can refresh yourself so that the bad foul smell should not come out of your body whenever you are working or maybe in your personal and social life nobody likes stinking uh, dustbins so please make sure that you maintain the personal hygiene that is very much required including the socks that you wear so these are a few things that are involved in grooming so you must take care of them now the question is that why do we need this grooming so what is the importance of this grooming so the importance number 1 is that if anyone anyone when you look at your uh, mirror and if you feel that yes your hairstyle is good you have wore the makeup properly accessories are very good they are not distracting you have worn proper clothes properly ironed cleaned you are very comfortable about your waist belt you are comfortable in your uh, footwear it will automatically give you one good feeling about yourself and when you are happy about yourself that boosts your confidence that boosts your enthusiasm 
you you come out as a lively person because as far as your outward appearance concern you are not distracted you are happy with what you are wearing you are happy with the perfume the duo because you feel that you are absolutely presentable and automatically all these things are going to boost your confidence and you would be performing as a team leader or maybe a team member very enthusiastically and these lively people they attract positive energy anywhere in any office so everything that you do as far as your grooming is concerned that will boost your enthusiasm and it will result in your good performance so number one is that if you are properly groomed automatically your confidence will be boosted and your confidence will result in good work good skill good knowledge and once and obviously it will go in long way in building your career or giving you career growth or maybe promotions or incentives and that is what we work for so this is how it starts the next thing is that uh, whenever people around you they look at you they will follow you you will become brand instead of wearing brands if you have your own impression own impact own personality own picture other people may follow you that see mr so and so or miss so and so her footwear are always trendy she always wears to the occasion he is always presentable in the office he is having always that enthusiasm the people will follow you they will try to imitate you and obviously when you are having the positivity in you the people around you will get the same positivity around you and the people will prefer you they will be glued to you it is because of your proper grooming your personal hygiene your physically fit your mentally fit and obviously when you are physically and mentally fit it will result in your growth growth of your career so this grooming is really important from that point of view ghar se nikalte samay agar aap aaine mein dekho aur agar aapko lagta ho ki main as usual bahut hi badhiya dikh raha hu obviously you feel happy about it and this happy feeling that happy thought that increases the dopamine in us you feel good about it and dopamine is very addictive once you feel good about yourself every day you try you take all efforts starting from your hair styling to your footwear everything you will feel that yes you look very professional very presentable as well as comfortable and this will become your habit and you will become a brand people around you will follow you and you will also feel better about yourself and ultimately it will result in good working environment and in good working environment everyone progresses another very uh, good benefit of uh, grooming is that when people follow you you set one benchmark the people will compete sometimes with you they may feel jealous of you and out of jealous they will start competing with you and they are competing for good thing so people around you will also raise their graph and when you look at them they will, you will also try to raise your graph your graph of your outward appearance so and comprehensively everyone will be presentable properly groomed and the very organization will have one brand value that all the employees are properly groomed this is what a particular dressing sense these people have this is how they take care of their personal hygiene health physical as well as mental they even take care of their footwear their hairstyle the way they carry themselves so everything will be very positive and it will go in long way just one example i would i would like to quote if there is there is a, maybe a, a blot after having lunch or during the lunch if if by mistake the food spills on your a shirt or maybe the coffee or the tea that you are sipping it spills on your shirt and because of that blot and if there is a presentation or there is a business meeting and there is no other shirt available in the office imagine your psychology even the people around you they will also pay attention to that particular blot and they will start questioning that why mr so and so didn't clean it properly what happened to him and it will divert your attention as well as attention of others so this is how this is a very simple thing that may cost your attention and remember there are some jobs wherein your 100% concentration and attention is very much required otherwise it will incur a huge loss sometimes it may affect your health sometimes accident may happen because such jobs and their requirements are particular so this is how personal hygiene is very important personal grooming is very much important and all the your you students should take care and have the habit that doesn't matter i am simply going to attend my tuition class or simply i am going to attend my college i should be 
perfectly presentable i should go with proper preparation sometimes it may cost you but in the cost it will give you so much of return in future so this is an investment whatever you invest it may be your footwear it may be your dressing sense it may be your hairstyle it may be your personal hygiene your eating everything everything it is simply an investment so groom yourself if you are physically mentally fit and if you have that good feeling about yourself it will result in your good work and when you perform better chances of growth in career chances of incentives promotions and responsibilities are main so i hope that you understood the importance of grooming and the things that come under grooming i wish you good luck thank you so much